eating disorders that I haven't even heard of before. Now, one of the biggest myths about eating disorders is that they only happen to women. That is so not true. Greg is the opposite of an anorexic. He's what some people call bagorexic. And he was so compelled to get bigger and bigger that it nearly cost him his life. Greg Valentino made a name for himself as the king of bodybuilding, but as with any great achievement, it came with a high price. Now, instead of being known as the man with the biggest biceps in the world, he's known as the man whose arms exploded. How you doing? I'm Greg Valentino. I have the biggest arms in the world. No good. I've been training 28 years. I earn these babies. I love the attention, and the attention is all on me. People turn and want to see it, and girls poke at it to see if it's real, and guys give you respect. So Greg began a 30-year bodybuilding journey. I'm only five feet five. I have small man complex, and I just said, man, if I can't grow taller, I'm going to grow bigger. And that's exactly what I did. I started taking steroids, and I'm not going to lie, I had like a love affair with steroids. Greg Valentino's body is the result of hardcore steroids. Oh, I grew like a weed. The more I grew, the more I wanted. You start thinking like a Teflon. You're big, you feel like you can walk through a wall. After years of injection, Greg biceps finally fought back. You get, like, stupid. You reuse needles. I was an, an idiot. I dropped a needle on the floor, blow it off, stick it in, and you wind up getting yourself an infection. When you get an infection, you get bad fever. Every muscle in your body and joint ache. Greg ended up in emergency. If you don't get it taken care of, it could be very dangerous. It could kill you. Greg. What do you feel like when you watch that? You don't see it. Oof. That's, uh, well, it's embarrassing, uh, like I said in the film. You know, I would do stupid things. You know, you, you, know, you get lazy, you use a needle, or you drop it on the floor, you blow it off. You, you do things like that. Yeah. Know? And eventually, you know, it's, it's all in that mindset. you got to get huge. Why did you feel the need to get so huge, to get so big? Well... Because you're huge. I mean, even now, you're like... You look like you have on football uh, Everybody was stuff. Yeah, and well, I'm not, you know, I'm not even in that whole, my, first of all, that was a long time ago. That was at least six years ago. Um, so why, guess, the, why the knee? Because I'm like a small, I'm like a big man in a small man's body. How tall are you? Not tall at all. No, uh, tell, me, tell me how tall you are. I'm like uh, almost 5'6". Okay. With a little lump on my head. But, uh, okay, so five five maybe. Yeah. And so, yeah, did that make you feel insecure growing up? Well, you know what it is. I was always a great athlete, with baseball, football, whatever I played. I was always the best kid, but I was always the smallest kid. So I had to play harder than the other kids to make sure the coach would play me. You know, and I, to compensate for that, what I did was I figured if I can't grow taller, I'm gonna grow bigger. You and did grow bigger. You're like you're like five feet across. <laughs> I mean, you're really, really wide. Thanks. Okay, so did that did that help your self-esteem? Did that make yeah, you? Yeah, it did because you know you start getting jacked and you know everywhere you go, people like start talking out. You know, it's like the so attention. So exactly. This, this attention makes you feel good, huh? Yeah. Like, like, oh my God! This, oh my God! It's that's like, hard, like a rock, right? Yeah. A rock. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It really is big. So you don't think that you're big right now? See that ugly picture of me up there? I, that's, you know, I felt big then, and I'm not, I don't look like that anymore. I don't have that big basketball head. Do so you think that looks ugly and looks like that? I know it looks ugly, I swear to God. I, I don't look at that and go, man, I look awesome. Okay. I mean, I'd rather look like Brad Pitt, but it ain't in the cards for me. So, you know, I put it in my head, because I used to look like that, because I was so big before, this is small to me. I don't know if that makes sense, but, you know, that, that's... Okay, and you, you, I know you were selling the drugs, selling the steroids, and what ended up happening because of that? I went to jail. I mean, uh, you know, I got locked up. Uh, you know, I'm 46 years old, so, you know, at 40 years old, I got locked up, you know, this was, you know, uh, six years ago. And I'm sitting in jail, and, you know, everybody else in there is all happy. You know, because I've been locked up their whole life. At 40 years old, I finally get locked up, and I'm like, man, I, I got to change my life. I can't live like this anymore. 
you know, out and what I, I changed my life. Now I'm, I'm good. You know, I work for Muscular Development Magazine. I'm, I'm the number one, I have the number one column in the sport of bodybuilding. I, uh, I do all the media work and everything. Do you think you still have that insecurity that you had as a young kid? I, yeah, definitely. Think it'll stay with you forever? Always, because I don't like being short. You know, I wish I was big. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah. are big. Well, I mean, I wish You're I was taller, big. you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a way of compensating. I think that all the people backstage, they're compensating for something. Maybe not like me, but somewhere along the lines, you know, you, you're going to, you know, you want to do something to to make up for that thing that you're missing. I'm li I love that you that you know what it is mm -hmm. because a lot of people don't know what it is. You know, it's that the guy has the Napoleon complex. He runs around, <laughs> wants to fight everybody. But you know, you understand where it comes from. Oh, yeah. I think that's really great. Thank you for sharing your story. Thanks. We'll be right back. Thank you.